Hi. This is a weird angle, and I think my face is blown out from the lighting. But like I said, hi. <laughs> if you want to know where I've been, I have a video that I made a few months ago about my return, and then I have another video from a month later saying, wait, I am returning, but a little slower than I thought. And now this is a video of me actually returning. Hi. Yes, this channel actually does still have plans for the future. Oh my gosh, it's not dead. I actually adore filming. I just want to say that again. I want to reiterate that I am so grateful that there is still people wanting to view my content and see where it goes. I'm perfectly fine with starting all over and doing it all over again, which is what I expected I needed to do. I didn't think people would really still have interest that used to like me because I've been it's been so long but the fact that there is still people from the past that are still interested I am so grateful for that there really is no other platform that really provides an outlet that allows me to explore like my passions and my hobbies just knowing that I have this place that I can go to to explore the things I love and the things that interest me and that there's people that enjoy watching it as, you know, a way to just escape their day for a little bit. There's really nothing else like that for me, and I just am so grateful that I still have the opportunity to use this platform like that. Sorry if the lighting is weird, I don't know what I'm doing. I wanted to use this area to film, and it's my desk, it's where I edit and do my work. It's in the closet. My closet's gone. I'm keeping my clothes in buckets. It's hard being 24 and living with your parents. Um, but, but now that I'm doing better and things are really changing for me, I really feel like I'm getting my life back together finally and that I'm going to be able to move out soon and just actually live my life for me, which is something I don't think I've really ever done, ever. <laughs> Today's video. I wanted my first real video back on the platform to, of course, include as many animals as I could. I have mentioned in my previous videos more about how I plan to take my animal content. I wasn't super specific, but I did say I don't want to lean into like super educational, but I do want to make sure that if I'm talking about an animal, I give at least enough information to warn someone before before they just go and buy it because it looks cute or whatever that may be. But my channel isn't here to be above anyone and speak full. Like, I don't want to be a teacher to that degree where I just sit here and tell you how to do things. My channel is more for me to connect with people and have fun and explore the hobbies and passions that I have. And I adore animals. I absolutely love learning about them. And I want to document myself learning about them and what it's like living day to day with all these unique animals. So that's where I plan to take it, just fun videos like I used to do, just leaning away from the mega educational ones. I still will provide tips. There are plenty of other channels that do super mega educational. I just don't like the way it makes me feel because it sparks so much debate because there are multiple correct ways to take care of a lot of different species of animals. It just sparks a whole debate in the comments of what people think is best and I don't like to see that kind of energy and the arguing. It's just not what I want on my channel. So hopefully that makes sense. So the first thing we are tackling on this channel is a two-part video I think it might actually be three parts I don't know at least two parts and it's gonna be just about redoing all my animal enclosures I've been wanting to do this since I lived in my house that I lived in for what like three whole months that was great wasn't that a fun time I got my dream house I just left it again three months later it's fine. Now I'm in my childhood bedroom. It happens. So I finally went ahead and upgraded all of my animals cages. I couldn't wait anymore. I hated waiting and I wanted to wait ideally until I started making videos again and made more money because when you don't post for a year and a half and you have 20 something animals to take care of plus yourself, money goes away. So I wanted to wait until I started filming again so I could get nice really cool cages but I did what I could. Some of them are really nice but some of them are just large tubs that I modified to work for specific animals. So yeah, <laughs> in this very first video we are going to tear all the old cages down, say goodbye to them. I really really liked them. I have nothing against, you know, no complaints with the cages I had. My animals just simply had outgrown them. We're getting rid of all of those and we're bringing in all the new cages and we're just doing that very first part really where we just get everything 
set up and ready to really dive into decorating each cage and then part two will be going through each cage in depth you know finished and decorated nice and this is the one thing i don't know yet it'll either be in part two or it'll be its own video on part three but there are two cages that are very nice from zen habitats that i really really like and i really want to do an in-depth tour of how everything's set up i might make a dedicated video about those two cages but Nevertheless, we're getting videos out, okay? Hi, it's me coming to you, not live, from a different location. Well, actually, the same location. I just moved the camera. So I just wanted to say one more thing before the video started, and that is that it is so hard to find music that is copyright free that is not going to annoy at least some group of people extremely. If y'all guys remember in my old videos, I used a lot of like electronic music or like house music or trap music. I don't, it just, it didn't have lyrics and it was always just different like house beats and stuff like that. That is what I used to go with because I didn't want any voices going over the parts where I talk. When I look back at those videos, I hate them. I hate the montages with the house music. It drives me nuts. I don't know if it's those particular songs or what, but I can't, I can't stand them. I hate it. So I decided to go on a royalty-free website to find music that one, doesn't annoy me, and two, doesn't annoy a mass group of people. Because in like my old videos, people would comment saying, I love the video, but I couldn't stand the song. And you know, I feel you. I feel you on it. I, I hate it too. I tried to make it better and more tolerable than that. So hopefully you can you can tolerate it. I feel like now that I've drawn so much attention to the music, I'm gonna get so much criticism for the music, but that's it's fine. I tried my best. I did what I could. Two nights in a row, I fell asleep here. So two hours, one night, two hours the next night, I fell asleep both nights here. Trying to find music everyone won't be annoyed at. And it was just impossible. It wasn't working. Nevertheless, this is what I ended up with. I swear me me prepping to start the video is gonna end up longer than the actual video. So I'm just gonna shut up now. I swear one of these days I'll have a quick intro and we'll get right to it. One of these days. I don't know which day. Today's obviously not it. And probably won't be next time either, but one day it will happen. Mark my words, one of these days. <laughs>
So now we get to the part of the story where I realize I've done everything wrong. <laughs> because I was wrong about the dimensions of my room, I got everything wrong during my initial planning. <laughs> I thought that this rack here that I ordered, that we were gonna buy an extension for the top and place one more tub on the top, completing all five tubs that needed to be in my room. Well, my ceiling is too short for that and the fifth tub will not fit once we add the extension. So that leaves me with a tub that has no place to go. And of course, on top of this, I also have like eight other cages. I think roughly that are not in this room yet and we were planning to put in the front living room but this tub thing kind of threw it all overboard because there was no spot in the living room either for the tub so this is where i undo all of my work <laughs> well not totally most of what is built stays built but those big display cages they gotta go in the living room and we gotta set up a whole nother rack in my room which also means that we have to tear down the rack we already built because they connect and because they connect we have to get access to all of the little rows to connect them all of the heating strips that i had woven through these racks now have to be unwoven and all of the tubs have to go down so after we tore down the rack and got all the tubs off of it we had to set up a new rack and we had to find a new space for the display cages there were shelves out there that we had to get rid of to make space for the display cages it was a whole mess so the second part of this video is the real turnout of my room and this first part <laughs> none of it matters everything's gonna change but i wanted to include it to show you the whole process that i went through you still got to see the tubs and stuff and what the cages look like but now we're gonna actually do the official setup so <laughs> let's get going <laughs> Remember how it felt 
So that ends this chapter of the videos. All the setups shown so far are like the bare minimum just to get them in the cage. Like a hide on the cool side, a hide on the warm side, and a water dish, and that's really it. And I have so much decor and enrichment to go add to all the cages, which will happen in the next video. And I'm super excited about that. Also, there's multiple more cages that are gonna actually have the spray foam in the background and the grout mix and everything. Those are just the first two that I've ever done in my life. So they're just like, Eh, they're okay, but I'm pretty happy with how the other ones are turning out as I get better at it But that again will be in part two It was really just getting all the cages out getting all the cages back in and whatever I happened to film while setting up each cage There's some cages. I forgot to film you'll more so see everyone in the last video when I go through all the cages And even then if someone's hiding, I'm just gonna show you like them in their cage. I'm not going to get everyone out. Going forward, there's going to be, you know, videos with each kind of animal and I'm going to show them all and like we can get them out and see how they've grown and everything like that. This one's more oriented around all their setups instead of focusing on getting them all out and showing them off, you know? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I miss you guys so much and I'm so excited to get back into this. It's going to be a little slower paced as the first few videos come out. But after that, I really want to make this my full-time focus again. It's something I haven't done in so many years. I don't even know if I've ever really done it in the way that I'm wanting to do it going forward now that I have so much more of my life figured out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Pew pew. Maybe that's not the best way to end the video. I always feel uncomfortable and weird asking for people to subscribe and like at the end of the video and reminding people and nagging. So I'm not gonna do that. But I will say that while I was away doing my thing, being depressed, <laughs> that sounds so sad and morbid, um, I watched a lot of YouTube and when someone would remind me to like their video, it would be like, oh, okay, and I would like it, and otherwise I'd forget to like it. So with that being said, I'm not gonna ask for you guys to like the video, but my caterpillar Furby? He's gonna ask for him. He wants you to like and subscribe. Not me, him. I have a huge collection of Furbies. They all might want you to like and subscribe and they all might ask one by one in upcoming videos, but not me, the Furbies, not me. It walks if you press the button. This is what I spent my money on when I was depressed. I can't say if it helped or if it just perpetuated my depression. <laughs> my words, one of these days, but one of these days, mark my words. My cat just used a litter box and it's um, under this desk and I don't like the smell, so I'm gonna go clean it. Welcome back to myself. Not welcome back to you guys, you've been here. I'm the one that's been gone. I don't know what I'm saying. Enjoy the video. Oh God, I dropped a Furby.